Um, man, when I'm out there, I play well. Like like I've said previously, just uh, staying on top of my soft tissue. You know what I mean? Hamstrings, quads. And uh, when I'm out there, just being in shape, knowing the playbook. And once I got that down in, the OT in OTAs, everything started to come back. So. Man, it's just uh, some of the things you just can't control. Like I really, I would do all type of treatment and rehab, and sometimes it's just camp. You know, you're going, eating up a lot of reps. Guys go down, and unfortunately, that's how the game goes. So you just got to keep finding ways to to stay healthy. <laughs> Absolutely. No, they've had me on everything. You know what I mean? Talking with Coach Ock, Coach Edwards, uh, since OTAs, you know, they've, they've liked my skill set, what I can bring to the special teams core. And uh, I've basically been on almost everything. So that's, that's definitely been utilized. When you're out there making catch after catch and then playing with the line and so forth, is your confidence growing? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gaining the respect of my teammates. Uh, going out there, building my confidence and finding my routine since I've been here. And I think I found that and it's, it's paying off. What kind of gunner are you and how much, uh, how much is your receiver mentality, your gunner mentality? Uh, as far as special teams, yes. Uh, left gunner, just, I mean, either or. It doesn't even matter. Just going out there, running full speed and making a play. You know what I mean? Forcing fair catches. So that's definitely something that I can help with this team. I just encouraging me, man. Just saying, man, keep keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? They're supporting me. I'm supporting them, and um, just, you know, I'm going into my sixth season. So I always tell those guys, look, if y'all need anything, if I can help y'all with anything, we definitely will do that. And uh, that's been something that they see my routine, they see kind of some of my success, and they've been kind of picking my brain. So it's been able to pay back, pay back, pay it back. Right. Man, just believing in myself, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just just God, knowing what he's blessed me with, knowing what I'm capable of, and I don't feel like I've been able to fully display that. I've had some unfortunate setbacks, uh, uh, bad timing with certain things, but I know what I can do, and I, that, that just stays in my mind regardless of the circumstance. Marcus, what about the craft, and what's the process been like to, you know, pick up the nuances, position, get to the point where you're making plays like this every day? Uh, just the playbook, playing free, you know what I mean? That That's the – key component to a receiver is receiver you'll always have different things and uh coach Moore always tweak and we do individual and stuff like that but once you had a playbook down uh you can really go out there and show your true talent your your true self and that's what it's been this uh this training camp oh yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm i'm happy with what i've done but obviously it's it's so early that you can't go off of any of it you just got to keep stacking them Oh, it was before. Like, yeah, it was before. I wonder if you ever had, like, you know, you signed with Julio and then Josh and so forth. Yeah. Maybe this wasn't your next place to go after him? Nah, I was confident, man. They they reached out multiple times. It seemed genuine uh, from the front office. So that was my mindset. Like, as long as the team's genuinely approaching me, that's opportunity. And they and they like my skill set. Now, once Julio came in and everything, I've been in similar situations. My second year in Philadelphia, we brought in Alshon, Torrey Smith, and then we drafted two guys. And I'm an undrafted second-year player coming from practice squad. And... Uh, you know, by the grace of God, made the roster that year, and we did some great things. So I know what uh, adversity looks like. I know this league. I know myself and what I can bring. So I'm just uh, – it, it brings the best out of me. Seem genuine. Seem genuine. Why? How? When you say seem genuine, what, what led you to believe that? Uh, the consistency. You know what I mean? I, I missed training camp last year in Indy, and then I end up – after camp, they let me go. I missed everything. And they reached out, and they wanted me to come in. Indy came back in the picture, played the season with Indy, and then at the end of the year had a, a – quad injury and he let me go right before the playoffs and they came back and they were consistent in that sense and then after I was here for the playoffs and everything during the offseason uh, it was immediate like hey we want you back let's get it figured out um, and 
it, like I said, it was just that consistent approach from there. So. That's a big group of wide receivers. I mean, how much does the competition you like just having that with that group um, specifically to probably up within you? Don't even know it. Right. No, this is probably one of the most talented receiving cores I've been in. And uh, not probably it is. It, it's been the best one. And it brings the best out of me. I know that for a fact. That's why when we brought in Julio and obviously everyone else we already had and then the two draft picks, you uh, you look at it and you like cream rise to the crop. Just just keep sticking to your process, challenging yourself every day, and don't get caught up with uh, in, in all the other things. Just stay locked in on what you know. So that's what I've just brought into this. How much does having a coach like Rob Moore, who has played the game, been there and done it, how much does that you know, help you get that technique down? Yeah. It's major, you know what I mean? I was talking to him during the offseason, like, hey, you know what I mean? You, he put up, like, 9,300 yards in his career, and he played, what, 12 seasons in the league. So uh, that was the first thing that intrigued me. Like, let me just ask him questions. But a funny story about Rob, when I was coming out for the draft uh, 2016, he was the uh, receiver coach with the Raiders. So then when I got here, I'm like, yeah, I had your number saved from the Raiders. And he was like, yeah, I was up there. I remember we were looking at you and all that. So uh, we had that little bit of a connection, and then we've just been able to talk and pick. I've been able to pick his brain, so it's been able to help me. Why have you been able to get on the same page with Tannehill so quickly in this game? It seems like you guys have developed a nice little rapport. Man, I honestly – I think he, he's just that talented, you know what I mean? It was effortless for him to get me the ball and to find me. And once I started building that trust and making those contested catches, he just kept coming back to me. The timing was there and everything like that. But I, that's a big testament to him. Uh, he, he, he's, a, he's a great quarterback. He's shown me a lot since I've been here from, from, from OTAs. And we've built that connection back then and just pick right back up in training camp.